Rob. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rob's Rogues in the Batman Universe. And today we're taking a look at the Pop vinyl figures, and this is from the Pop TV series or television series, the Teen Titans Go uh, figurine number 107. Of course, it is Robin. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Teen Titans Go cartoon series, even though it does feature my favorite comic book character, uh, Robin. Uh, it's not necessarily the uh, animation style that I really care for, but uh, from time to time on Rob's Rogues, you have seen uh, some of the uh, Teen Titans uh, Go, uh, at least Robin uh, figures. I do have a couple of them. Uh, I couldn't uh, pass this one up. I really uh, liked the preview image that I saw uh, early on. I believe it was the earlier part of uh, this year, maybe around a toy fair around March or April, maybe even uh, uh, early as January. So I was kind of keeping an eye out for these, and slowly and surely I started seeing them around. And right around, uh, actually on Batman's 75th uh, birthday on the 23rd of July, uh, I saw this in a Hot Topic, and I, I kind of talked myself out of it. I can't believe I, I did that, but I went back a couple days later and picked this guy up. So I'm real happy to have him. Uh, we'll take a look at the packaging. It's uh, very similar to the other vinyl pop figures that we have uh, received uh, from them. Uh, I only have uh, two of them as I am adjusting some light here. I um, actually have three now that I uh, think about it. I have uh, Batman and Robin from like their uh, first uh, series that they did, and I have a Kiss uh, vinyl pop figure, uh, the drummer Eric Singer, his uh, Catman uh, persona, as it were, or Peter Chris if you're an old school Kiss fan. So uh, here's the side uh, panel, and I like just the uh, the look of the vinyl pop figures. I think it's really kind of cool. Um, oddly enough, they don't have the Robin R uh, drawn in on the uh, artwork. Uh, just a little odd choice for them not doing it as you know it obviously is uh, in there in the figure itself uh, the other figures in this uh, wave are figurines I guess it's uh, really not much of a figure uh, we have of course uh, let's say Robin Raven uh, Beast Boy uh, which uh, he he was there on the shelf it looks really cute uh, Cyborg and then Starfire uh, the only two that I saw there were Robin and uh, Beast Boy and uh, just a, uh, I like this little look here that they use at just the top of the head on a lot of the uh, vinyl pop figures. Thought they were uh, pretty cool. And then Robin on the side, and the top is just like that. Uh, there's not much to these. I'm sure a lot of people have seen them. So the articulation is very, very, very minor. But we'll get this uh, cute little guy out of package, and we'll take a better look at uh, Figurine 107 from the Pop Television series, Teen Titans Go Robin. We'll be right back. Okay, I can get Robin to briefly stand. Uh, there he goes. I'm going to have to do a little hot water uh, trick on his legs. He's really back heavy. Um, I really kind of thought that might be kind of the problem uh, with him. So I'm going to reposition him here. We'll just uh, set him down here uh, real quick on the bottom part of the base. Excuse me uh, just a little bit for uh, moving him. I still really like him. Um, in, uh, I thought his head was a little bit larger than some of the previous ones and uh, his legs are a lot skinnier and tinier. I'll just bring in the other Robin that I have. Um, I filmed this review, uh, geez, two years ago, probably three years ago, three or four years ago now probably. And uh, I never uploaded it. It's uh, on a flash drive somewhere. But you can see the difference in the two uh, Robins here. Uh, this original Robin, his stance, his legs are a lot beefier. And the stance is out a little bit. So I think they start getting a little bit more uh, liberal with how they were doing the bodies. Um, it does make them look a little bit cuter here and more, even more stylized. But... Uh, they skinnied the body and then made the heads much, much larger. I should say much, much larger, but no, noticeably uh, larger than they traditionally had. Most of the bodies were all the same. I have uh, Batman here as well. So you can see that Robin and Batman's bodies are basically both identical. It's just in the painting that they did. So I like that they started changing the body sculpts a little bit. So I don't know if it's just my Robin that I'm going to have to play with his um, 
feet and legs a little bit, maybe put them in some hot water and get them uh, molded just a little bit. Uh, he actually needs to be uh, leaning just a little bit. He'll stand if, when I put a little bit of a pressure down on his feet and kind of bending back, but you can see him uh, tipping right back over. So the feet are just not down uh, far enough. There is enough weight here on the foot to keep him lean forward, but it's like his feet are tilted back like this, so he's wanting to keel back over. So he's standing here right now. He's not resting up against uh, the side. Um, I don't know how well this little uh, base that I use is exactly flat. It's pretty close. There he's away from the uh, wall, so he is standing uh, on his own. Uh, I actually think this table is tipped back a little bit. Um, yeah, you can kind of see it. There he's standing there. So I think the table is more going this direction. But still, a, a cute figure. Uh, I like this one a lot. This is probably my favorite of the two that I have. I think in just uh, the bodies, the way the bodies are made. I liked that they started doing these really teeny tiny bodies on the, with these big heads. I mean, these bodies were tiny to begin with. But I think proportion size, this just adds a whole lot more uh, dimension to it. Uh, very Tim Drake ish in the colors. I think technically in the cartoon show it's supposed to be Dick Grayson, but we know it's Tim Drake. Um, I like that they gave him a, a staff here. Now I do have the Kiss uh, drummer Eric Singer or Peter Chris or the Catman as it were and uh, he comes with two drumsticks. Now uh, I usually have him on my drum set when I play so he's kind of like off on one of the side part of my rack so I don't have him uh, to compare as the drum kit's not here. Uh, but the only articulation that the vinyl pop figures have ever really had has all been in the head. Now some you can get on uh, with a, a bobblehead type deal and those are kind of cute. Um, I actually prefer the ones without the bobblehead. Uh, these heads, all they do is just turn. That's it. No other articulation at all. It's a hard uh, plastic cape. But uh, a nice little representation of the show in a real, you know, really stylized kind of way. Uh, these are really nice and cute for uh, desk type ornaments or, you know, knickknacks. If you, you know, have a workstation at a job or you're in an office type setting, you want to have a little something maybe you can't take an action figure in. But these little things are nice little conversation uh, starters and you kind of get a little bit of personality and just, you know, a little knickknacky. It's really kind of cool to have uh, another Robin figure, which I didn't think we would. There's always tons of uh, Batman and uh, out there and Superman figures, but uh, we don't get a whole lot of Robin. So I, I instantly jumped on this one and uh, just the two uh, side by side. Um, I don't know if I can find the date on this one or not. Um, I liked it when they used to put the dates on there, and I don't see no no date. So it's hard to tell when this one was. I have the box behind me, but I'm not going to do it off screen. But this is uh, you're from like their first generation, so it's nice to see that they've kind of updated themselves a little bit. So this was a, a cute little thing to kind of show here. Picked them up a Hot Topic, and these generally run about uh, twelve to thirteen bucks, uh, nine bucks depending on you know where you're getting them at. But uh, a wonderful little addition to my uh, Robin collection and just my uh, action figures in general. Today we've been taking a look at the Robin Pop Television series. And this is the vinyl figure 107. And as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues signing off saying we will see you guys next time. Titans, go! Go!